All right, so next thing we're going to do is add this little line right here. That's the vapor barrier. Um, and we're going to do sort of a simplified version of this. We're just going to do a thick dashed line that represents it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my annotate and detail line. And if I go to the pull down, I have a series of lines that I can choose from. We know the hidden line is dashed. Um, we can use that, um, and if I draw that guy in, it comes in as like this green dashed line. But what I really want is a super thick, dark dashed line. So I need to make a new line type. So I'm going to go to my Manage tab, and I'm going to go to my Additional Settings, and I'm going to go to Line Styles. This is going to bring up my Line Styles dialog box, and if I expand the category lines, you're going to see many of the line selections that you get based on what you're drawing. And so I'm going to make a new one. So if I come down to Modify Subcategories, I can go to New, and it brings up the new subcategory. And I'll name it O Wide Dashed Lines. And it stacks alphabetically, so you just have to decide how you want it to stack. Um, and it's a subcategory of lines, you can click OK and it adds that. And you can come in and set this to a thicker line type. So I'll set it to 8 and we'll set the line pattern to a dash, how about 330 seconds and click OK. So now when I go to my annotate detail line, modify place detail lines, if I go to the pull down, I'll get wide dashed lines as an option. I can come in and draw that line in. Now, if I decide it's too thick or it's spaced weirdly, which it is too thick, I can then go into again to my manage and my additional settings and my line styles. Let's see if I can make this a little smaller. Nope. Well, we can see enough of it there. Expand my lines scroll down and I can adjust this, right? So I can say that is way too thick. So let's go back and try a six, right? And apply and you can see that oh, that's better. Um, if you wanted a different kind of dash, you could update the dash. I'm going to leave it like that. And so now I have that guy drawn in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that we're going to do is come in and annotate and we'll talk a little bit about annotation and different ways of annotating something um, and you will need to come in and annotate your your um, detail. All right.